Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, to, uh, this is Sister Susie, and today I have a um, couple of revelations the Lord shared with me last night, and I want to share with you guys and just encourage my brothers and sisters, and um, just letting us know that time is very short. Time is coming to a close. We have to be ready. We have to be um, vigilant and not give up the race and, and hope that our Lord is coming uh, to take us home. And so I'm going to begin. So this uh, early morning hours of today and today is, um, uh, what is this today is May 13th. I, um, uh, I saw that I was in my home where I grew up, my mother's house, and I went to the kitchen. Now, when I went to the kitchen, there was a, oh, oh, wow, praise the Lord. I just sensed the presence of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I, um, I was in the kitchen, and in the kitchen, a clear glass window appeared. And it was, you know, a large glass. And I was seeing through this window to the other side, and it was nighttime. It was, I knew it was nighttime because it was dark. And when I looked through, I saw my dad. Now, you guys, uh, you know, uh, I've said this dream before. My father passed away when we were young. And I saw him and he was looking intently at me through this window. And I couldn't believe it that I was seeing him. And I went to tell my mother that, you know, um, my dad was outside you know, uh, looking, and I don't know how my mother responded, but now this dream is a repeat of two dreams, is a repeat. The first dream, uh, where I saw myself in my mother's kitchen as well with a clear glass window was when in that dream, I saw the clear glass window, the same window, it came and there was a woman who was coming to ask if my mother was going to go to work in the morning. And she, she mentioned the time one o'clock that she had woken up one o'clock to find out if my mother was going to go. Now, I do believe that was just to signify to, uh, for me to, to, to verify with my mother, you know, you, you know, just to let her know to be ready for the Lord. And, and the time that I was given was one o'clock. And so today it wasn't the lady that I saw through the window. It was my dad. Now, my dad can symbolize, can symbolize the father. Or it could also symbolize he himself that because he died in the Lord, you know, when when he was dying, he had um, he was sick and he received Christ in the very end of his life. So maybe the Lord is saying he will resurrect. But then the thing is, this window and this kitchen is connected to one o'clock, and one o'clock is M thirteen. So. Today being the 13th, I think the Lord is letting us know that that one o'clock has reached. That's my, my interpretation. I do believe he's letting us know that one o'clock has reached. So that's the first part of the, of the, of the dream. Now, the second part that I want to share with you, uh, now I found myself that I was uh, a few group of us. We went to this beach, uh, sandy area, um, uh, and this beach was really, really, it was looking like a new beach. Like no one has ever come to this beach before. Never. Even when we were walking on this sand, and I could tell the sand was under thick. It, was, it wasn't just a little sand, like just like you see here. It was a thick sand. There was no footprints in the sand. None whatsoever. When we were walking in the sand, we were the ones that were making the prints. Um, well, I'm reminded of footprints in the sand, but it was like a new beach. And then as we walked in the, into this thick sand of the beach, and then I'm seeing all these footprints, I realized that on the ground of this beach, there was laying um, plastic, uh, like, uh, food was covered up in, you know, uh, tied in these little plastics, you know, pl clear plastic bags. And inside of these clear plastic bags, there was food. And I knew it was breakfast food. 
all of them were laid up on the ground of the sand. I mean, there were many. And and then after I, we walked, I'm looking at all this food, the breakfast food. And then I see uh, a few men. I don't know if they were workers or not. They were, they were the ones that were fixing up the area to putting on this food. I asked them, I said, what is going on? Why you have all this food on, laying on the ground like this? And then they answered and said that they are, are getting ready for a function in the morning. They say that uh, uh, they, are cook, they are cooking a meal for those that are coming in the morning. That's how they answered me. Like there was going to be a function at the beach. Uh, and that um, they're cooking up the food for those that are coming in the morning. They mentioned in the morning. So I was like, oh, wow, this is so interesting. And so that was the part that that was the part of the the beach uh, that I wanted to share with you that, you know, the Lord is, is getting ready uh, to give us breakfast in this area. It's an it's a area of rest. You know, you know, normally people go to the beach to relax and to rest. OK, now I have a reference that I wanted to read. And this reference 